Hey, Dave, thanks for reaching out. I uh, want to respond via video to a couple things in your in your message and thought that this would be the easiest way to do it. You have to pardon my scrubby appearance. Uh, Hurricane, I think it's Ida, which is a tropical storm now, is coming my way tomorrow. <clears throat> and I have about a mile of ditches on my property. So I'm going to be spending the day and not not doing as much of this and and work and whatnot, but trying to get my ditches clear to make sure that the two to five inches of rain that we're going to get is not going to cause me significant headache tomorrow. Um, and so that's a really an interesting metaphor, by the way. You know, keeping ditches clear, knowing rain is coming, just keeping my ditches are clear. Um, on my property, like I said, about a mile of ditch, and. They require maintenance because there's constantly sticks and leaves falling in that ditch. And just one little stick in the wrong place in the wrong time, if it gets picked up by the water, it gets kind of cocked inside of a pipe and then leaves and other debris hit it and boom, it's dammed up and the ditch is overflowed and the water goes wherever it wants. And these ditches have really been a good metaphor for me about um, what it's like to to live with the feminine, right? Uh, I can make great ditches, but you can never make a, di a, a ditch so well, you just never need to maintain it because it's just the nature of things that, that water can always overwhelm a space, right? So part of me has just had to learn not to fear it. And instead of panicking about ditch preparation, do my best, but also know that I have what it takes to respond to when the ditches, you know, flood the banks. And, and while I don't want that to happen and I work hard for it not to happen, if it does, I can always go out and, and troubleshoot and problem solve. And I have to do that a lot. A lot of times in these, these terrible rains, I have to, you know, put on a bunch of rain gear and go out in the absolute torrential downpour. I check all my ditches. I check all of the pipes, make sure nothing is jammed in there. But if it is, I have to oftentimes get the clog out and it's a nasty, messy, frustrating job, but it's amazing as soon as you do that, how much the water just, right? And so, you know, the thing with a ditch is the ditch is there so that I have some choice in where the water goes. But sometimes storms come and they just, there's just too much, right? And as soon as the ditch no longer holds, the water goes wherever the hell it wants. And it's always the path of least resistance and it generally leaves a lot of destruction in its wake. And this is exactly how I believe that feminine energy is as well. Feminine energy is an unreliable and unpredictable energy, meaning we have to get over the idea that it could be controlled and managed to the point where we just never have to worry about anything, where we never have to... Um, you know, be maintainers of that, for example. There's no amount of preparation, like I said, that I could do where in a total downpour, I can just relax. And it, it, I've had to get over that over the years because the last thing I want to do in a downpour is go out in it. Because like you, like everybody, I'm a creature that wants comfort, right? I'm a creature that wants to stay warm and dry and relax and have a cup of coffee, right? Or a glass of scotch or bourbon when it's downpouring, not go out in it, right? But I have just not been able to do that. And I know that there is no amount of, of you know, engineering, preparation, controlling that will ever free me from the need to respect the very nature of water. And this is something that troubles males when it comes to females. We have to get over the idea that a woman, that we can control the feminine so well that we can relax uh, to the point where you know, nothing is required of us, relaxing to the point of comfort. So what we really need to get over is our lust for and our addiction to comfort because being in a relationship with a woman is uncomfortable at times because every time she just has a, a volume of water, meaning her the the surge, the storm surge of the, of the femininity requires us, you know, to become something else. We have to become clearer, cleaner. We have to be unclogged, right? We can't let a stick jam in, in the, the pipes of our masculinity and cause this backup that just she overwhelms us, right? It could happen sometimes. That's true, right? But um, the best way to avoid that 
is to just regularly maintain your internal person, keep yourself clear, keep yourself with good boundaries, keep yourself with solid nuts, become reliable yourself, maintain yourself in every capacity, but also just just kind of know how to debug yourself in the moment if you need to, right? It's not that really the end of the world if uh, water overflows the ditch. It's an inconvenience, it's a pain, it requires work. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything other than the water won, right? And that's, that's what happens in, in our relationships sometimes. So I guess my point in all that is get over it needed to be controllable and predictable and comfortable because it's never going to be. And it doesn't really need to be because we have what it takes to endure those things. And on top of that, life is actually more conscious and more alive and we're we're kind of in our best self when we're challenged and challenge doesn't come by all those things comfort and you know taking it easy in my life this has really helped me to just accept the woman in front of me for who she is and not feel like i needed it to change and with that acceptance has come really the basis for a great relationship and the basis for love because i stopped needing my wife to be different i stopped needing her to be more male I've stopped all these other things where I just accept the person in front of me. And if she rages one day and she's calm the next, it doesn't mean anything. And that's given me great freedom, but it's also given her a deep sense of acceptance and feeling loved, which has unlocked her capacity then to love me in that way because she knows what it's like to receive that love and now she can be that way. So I tell guys all the time, really, the key to getting everything that you want in your life and relationship is acceptance, is acceptance of the person in front of you. And you can't do that if you don't deeply accept yourself. Now, this is why I've been talking to you about, for example, my course, and this is not a sales pitch uh, by any means, but I do like to explain to guys what I spend six months taking guys through is developing the framework and understanding the framework of, of, of mindset and a way of thinking to understand why we don't accept ourselves and move in the direction of doing so. And when we do that, it gives us the ability to accept others, to love others. And that is a great way to live in the world. So I hope this has helped you. I hope, uh, you know, the metaphor makes sense and whatnot. And I hope that you just lean in to self-acceptance and accepting your wife. All right, brother, take care and I'll talk to you soon.